Pop quiz. You've started a new business and need to prioritize your focus down to one of four areas. You can choose to focus on client acquisition, or sales, client retention, increasing customer LTV, process improvement, making your operations more efficient, or financial management. Which do you choose? Well, if you ask me, there's only one right answer for a new business, and that is client acquisition or sales. Sales, sales, sales. Now this doesn't mean that the other areas are not important. A focus on client retention, process improvement, and or financial management all have the potential to boost a business's profits, but without sales, there is no business. So one of the lines that I think is really good from Sabri Subi's book, How to Sell Like Crazy, is where he says, your entire existence as an entrepreneur lives and dies by how effective your sales and marketing is at producing new revenue. Your business success is not based on your motivation, your team, your passion, or your desire to help people. And it's why today we are talking about sales copywriting. We are gonna briefly talk about what it is, then we'll move on to some key attributes of effective sales copy, and lastly, I'll share some thoughts on how to develop a good copywriting skill set. Here we go. What is sales copywriting? And yes, that is W-R-I-T-E, something you write, rather than R-I-G-H-T, something you have legal rights to. So sales copy, or copy for short, is writing or images or video that get the reader or viewer or listener to take a specific action that you want them to take. We don't have to complicate it any more than that. You want people to buy from you, or join your newsletter, or share your content, or subscribe to your YouTube channel, then learning how to write sales copy is a good place to spend some time. So let's talk about some key elements in no particular order that strengthen copywriting. Key element number one, effective copy addresses a very targeted person. Howard Gossage, a famous advertiser person once said, I don't know how to speak to everybody, only to somebody. It's nearly impossible to speak effectively if your audience is everybody. If you're speaking to everybody, you have to address a million different desires and a million different reservations about taking action. But writing to one person means that you can craft your copy to be perfectly tailored to that person's desires, fears, questions, reservations. When that person reads it, they will connect with it because it will sound like you understand them. Your copy will resonate with them and this will increase your chances of persuading them to take a desired action. Targeting a single person like this is called creating your customer avatar. You write to your customer avatar and benefit from the fact that your avatar is representative of a much larger group of people out there who share the same desires and problems. Your copy will also resonate with this broader audience. Key element number two, distinguish between features and benefits and sell the benefits. A feature is a characteristic of a product, say like my thermostat being connected to Wi-Fi. The benefit of my thermostat being connected to Wi-Fi is the savings I see on my utility bill from not heating or cooling an empty house anymore. The reason effective copy focuses on selling the benefits is because emotion is what drives people to make purchases. That the thermostat connects to Wi-Fi, the feature, has very little selling power until we help paint the picture of what the customer will benefit from this feature. The better you can explain how the customer will benefit from the feature, the more selling power your copy has. So let's take a look at two really good examples of this. The first is from a dating app called Hinge, so check it out. Okay, the first dominant part of the copy here is the image. They could have shown an image of the app with some profiles of pretty people, all to communicate who you might be able to connect with, but they didn't do that. They simply showed these two people who look to be very happy together. They chose to show their avatar's desired result, the main benefit of their product. And what is the benefit of using their app? It's being able to find a meaningful, happy relationship, and that's exactly what they're putting front and center on their site. The second piece of the copy here is the tagline, and I think the tagline is so clever. The dating app designed to be deleted. Again, here they are selling the benefit and not the feature where a feature of the app might be the messaging platform to connect people, the benefit of using the app is finding a relationship and not needing the app anymore, which is exactly what they say. It's so good. Let's look at one more example. So does anybody remember the, the Got Milk advertising campaigns? Now these were really smart because they highlighted the benefit of the product, milk, by showing the pain of not having it. One of my favorite commercials is following a guy who you know, is a jerk and he gets hit by a truck and goes to what seems to be heaven. 
Everything is white and there's nice music playing and on the table there's a plate full of delicious chocolate chip cookies which this guy starts eating up. He goes over and opens the fridge and is so happy to see that it's fully stocked with a ton of cartons of milk, which he now needs because he has been eating the cookies. He picks up one and it's empty, which sends him into this panic. And he goes through all the cartons and they are all empty and we realize that he's actually in hell, a place where you have delicious cookies but no milk to go with them. It's a very relatable and funny way to highlight the benefit of having milk in your fridge at home. Key element number three, Effective copy is conversational and simple to read. Most people recommend creating copy that is no higher than a seventh grade reading level. You can use a free app like HemingwayApp.com to check the reading level of your copy. You can also ignore some of the formalities that your English teacher taught you. For example, in an academic paper, we might want to avoid ending a sentence with a preposition. For example, we might reword the sentence, what are you waiting for, to for what are you waiting? But we want sales copy to read conversationally which means what are you waiting for is much better. You should write how your targeted customer avatar speaks. Key element number four, write good headlines and hooks. The most important thing in copywriting is the headline for readers or the hook for viewers. There's just way too much content out there competing for attention and you have very little time to get the reader to stop and decide if it's worth it to read the rest of your article or watch the rest of your video. In fact, your headline should be so good that it should be irresistible to your customer avatar. They should not be able to ignore it. Here's a crazy story to illustrate how a good title can make the difference between making no money and making millions. In 1982, Nora Hayden wrote a book that she called Astrological Love. Now from that name, do you know what the book is about? I mean, I would have no clue. It could be anything from astrology to relationships. The publisher printed 5,000 copies of Astrological Love and they were only able to sell 2,000 of them. It was a huge flop. They ended up selling the rest to discount bookstores. Then something crazy happened. A New York publisher found the book, read it, and thought, this is a great book about how to seduce women. He called up Nora Hayden and bought the rights to the book. And then he republished it and didn't change a single word inside of the book. It was the exact same book. The only change he made was to the title. Hayden's astrological love was now republished under the title, How to Satisfy a Woman Every Time and Have Her Beg for More. So if you are in the market for learning how to seduce a woman, which title do you think would grab your attention? The results of this republishing was 2.3 million book sales in the first 18 months. Headlines matter, hooks matter. Your copy needs to be irresistible to your targeted avatar. Key element number five, effective sales copy incorporates social proof. It's human nature to look at the behavior of others to validate our own behavior. If your copy successfully incorporates the key elements we've talked about, you can further reduce your avatar's hesitation to act by adding social proof. Now, social proof has many forms. It can be testimonials and reviews of a product. It could be a case study that shows how the product achieved the desired result for some person or some company. It can be an expert endorsement, like a doctor endorsing a hair loss product, or it can be a celebrity endorsement. If you have a cat product and you get Taylor Swift to endorse it, you'll probably be a millionaire pretty quick. Social proof simply helps us to reduce the perceived risk of trying a product. We see that it's worked for others, and so we assume it can work for us as well. Key element number six, effective sales copy has a single clear call to action. This just means that all your copy directs your avatar to do one thing. That can be a purchase, a follow, a share, a subscribe to a YouTube channel, but it's just one thing. This is why in the world of online selling, sales funnels are used rather than home pages. A home page often has too many links to other pages, where a sales funnel, on the other hand, is designed to sell one thing. There is just one call to action, making it very clear for the customer to know what you want them to do. Now, how am I planning on developing copywriting skills? Here are the four things I am doing. Feel free to do them along with me. First, I am studying two books. The first is Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards. Now this is a very practical book focused on writing sales copy. 
What I really like about it is that most of the chapters give you formulas and frameworks to use, making it almost like an exercise book for writing your own copy. The other book I'm studying is Sabri Subi's How to Sell Like Crazy. Sabri's marketing agency, King Kong, is responsible for driving nearly $8 billion in sales for his clients, which, you know, makes me think it might be a good one to look into. His book has a lot of good sales copy content, but also goes into the actual selling online process a bit. Now, if you can only choose one of these, I'd say go with Copywriting Secrets if you want to focus solely on writing copy and go with how to sell like crazy if you want to dive a bit more into the online sales process. Check out the video description for links to both the books. Second, I will be actively creating a swipe file. A swipe file is very simply collecting pieces of content that captured your attention. Eugene Schwartz, another famous advertiser said, copy is not written copy is assembled. By creating a swipe file, I will be assembling effective copy that I can use and tweak for my own copywriting. My goal is just to save one piece of content every day to my swipe file. The third thing I'm committing to is copy work. Sam Parr, who is the founder of the newsletter The Hustle, is a big advocate of copy work. What you do is take some of the most successful sales letters of all time and you get out a pen and paper and you simply copy them, word for word. Sam likes to say that it's the same process as learning an instrument. When you want to learn the guitar, for example, you typically start learning other people's songs. You play a little Van Halen and a little Jimi Hendrix and throw in some Eric Clapton and you soon start to understand what works well and how to piece together your own music. In copy work, you similarly use already proven copy to write down and you start to get a sense of the rhythm and tactics and you build those into your own copy. The last thing and major exercise I will be doing to develop my copywriting skill set is pairing a customer avatar with proven copy frameworks. For example, I may pick a customer avatar, say a working single mother with two kids and name her Heidi. I'll think about what it is that Heidi desires, what keeps her up at night, what does she want for her kids, etc. And I'll then create a list of products that would appeal to Heidi and start writing copy using proven frameworks to sell those products. To see which frameworks to use and an example of this process laid out, click on this video here. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.